Yeah. Oh, Lord. Let's talk about the How are you doing, sir? I'm Tim Yes. Well, actually, once you focus it in, yeah, position. just be right here. Yeah. Can we get some of the position so we can get our shots? My boy's trying. He's the director. Okay, so. Oh, can the director? Thank you hey, hey. so much for your direction. Please, hey, please, brother, please. Can we get them in position? Because that's horrible. <laughs> no, we're offside. We should uh, come a little bit to the left. I'm not the floor director. I'm the chief down, so I'm just saying. Right, how, we, we'll how, how, we, how we looking over there? Yeah, I can't What's going on? Here? He's like, where are you? Oh, he's got a crazy, huh? Okay. Yeah. 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 You know what, Parker? You can place that on the uh, left side. Okay, yes, sir. Yeah, it's not, it's not your shot. Okay. Should we cut some more? <laughs> when I say that, I mean, what we need to do is be kind, you know, showing And welcome to The Word on the Street. Hi, we have with us John Zales. Hello. John, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Wonderful. John, we want to talk to you about today, let's see here, you know, challenges of life, transitions in life. I just want to tell you a few things that I've been through and, you know, my few years on earth. I'm 51, and you guys are in there. Mercy, I know what. How old are you? Oh, I love this guy. <laughs> yes, John. I, um, let's see here. I graduated from Horace Mann High School in 1980. So that very much, yeah, that makes me very much. He's only a couple years behind you. Oh, snap. I love, <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> but yes, I uh, went to Cleveland State for a little while, and I ended up in New York City. And I got a job working on the railroad. Wow, you've been all over. Yeah, and I traveled with the railroad for about 15 years. And I uh, took a buyout from that job and moved over to the financial district. And so I stayed there in New Jersey, um, New York. I worked in New York City, but I stayed in New Jersey. I resided there. And I left there and then, let's see here. Yeah, I was, I was telling you. I left there. Uh, Young host, keep going. Oh, I messed up the same. Yeah, but however, can I keep yeah. going? Please. <laughs> I, I left there and moved back home. I said, cut. I didn't even hear what you were saying. No, see, you're the host, so you ask him the question. Well, I started off telling him transitioning and how I got you back here. That's been well, 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 see, well, well, see. You go, you go for about uh, maybe 20 seconds saying something about you, and then you get it to him. Yeah, I was, I was getting there. I, 
a word on the street. I'm sitting here with my good friend Portia here. My name is John. We're going to talk about your background and your very interesting path across the nation. Starting with, where did you graduate from high school? Horace Mann. Horace Mann. Where is that? Is that in the Yeah, yeah. It's in mm. uh, Winter Village. Wow. 1980. Wow. You're so young. Thank I can't you. believe it, only 1980, all right. Yeah. Well, after Horace Mann, where did, where did your path lie? Well, I started, uh, I wanted to be a cardiologist technologist. So I went to school over in downtown Chicago. Okay. And it was just like a uh, nine month course and I became a cardiologist tech. Interesting, my yeah. dad is in medicine as well, so I have a similar background in that. Yes. After the cardiology tech, it's not what you do now, though, just a guess? N no. Where did we transition after that? No, John. <laughs> well, it, it is what I do now. I uh, went to a job. Uh, they wasn't hiring back there at that time. So I said, well, I better try something else. I want to be a jack of all trades and a master of science. Oh, that would be wonderful. Sounds like perfect to me. I wish I was a master of something. <laughs> but I'll do what I can. I'm good at asking questions, so how about what did you do after that? Certainly, John, I'm glad you asked that question. My journey took me on to the Midwest. I uh, went to school at Cleveland State, and somehow or another, I, they found favor with me and uh, ushered me off to New York City. New York City, the yes. Big Apple. Yes. Did you eat a lot of apples there? I did not want. Just one big one. No, that place is crazy. No apples. No apples. What was your favorite experience in New York? Thank you for asking that question. You know, I could not get it, but New York City has no grass. No grass. There's I mean, just no room for them? I couldn't figure it out. I said, something's wrong with this place. And it has no grass until you get to Central Park. Oh, mm -hmm. so it's like a cement forest yes. with a meadow in the middle. Yes, and, and they... They never go to sleep. When they say they never go to sleep, that's a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week operation, I promise you. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, one last question before we go. Mm -hmm. What do you plan to do after you graduate from Old Northwest? I'm glad you asked that question. Well, I'm, I'm the cusp of the baby boomers. So it's time for me really to start getting retirement ready. <laughs> so I want to become a salesman and uh, a salesperson actually for software at Microsoft. Mm -hmm. That'd be very wonderful. Yes, and I'm hoping that I can do this by way of infomercial. And uh, is he on TV? Is he on TV? Well, you got a lovely face for it. Ooh, wee. <laughs> <laughs> infomercial. What kind of infomercials? Would you be getting, would you be hosting, or would you, okay. <laughs> well, I was ready, ready, ready to cut us off. I want to talk to you all day, but I got to thank everyone here on set. We are running out of time. I got to thank you here. I'm here as word on the street with the lovely Portia. Thank you. She said, okay. <laughs> Is it open? Yeah, you can move him, Jim. He's a good grandpa. Get him. Bye.